Hello guys, I'm back here, captain of the captains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Captain Cooper. I'm back here with another channel. Fly time, I don't know, but we call it a channel because me in my channel, you learn a lot. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm here to teach you things, different things. This one, that one, this one, you know. But I don't want you every day you get problem, this problem, that problem, and you don't have to solve it. No. I'll make you win. Every day you'll win. Yeah. Every day you'll win. Yeah. Because there's some channels here, they only show people how to do this, do this, but they don't show people how to protect themselves, how to make themselves confident in everything. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But let's keep off on that for a moment. Today we are here. How to identify the uh, fake military or fake fake uh, army or fake police? How to identify them? Because nowadays you have everything fake. You can also have fake watches, fake clothes, fake things, you know. So, first of all, fake army. Because nowadays in Europe, we do have these people around here and they're walking around when you get this job, this job, this job. They try to tell people, oh, me, I was a soldier in my country. I do this, I went here, I did this, I did this. No, oh, man. That's a lie. The real soldier, you're not allowed to tell anybody who you are. No, you're not allowed. But there's some people now, they use that advantage in order to make people scare them scared of them yeah to get people scared of them or to think like mostly especially when they see you drive a big car then they think that oh maybe you're gonna employ them to be anything wherever you know they just just think like this mind no man mm. nowadays we do have fake fake militaries here yeah they go there do these small jobs that job that job eh, because uh, i was a soldier in the country I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this. So when you hear the guy telling you that without no reason, man, that's a lie, fake. Mm -hmm. Soldier or Marine or Army, everybody, you never have to tell anybody who you are. No. You're not allowed. No. When the problem starting or wherever, when people they see them lately, they're going to think, oh, that guy, the way he reacted like that, man, that's smart. You're not gonna tell her I did this, I did this, but you never have to tell somebody that me I was this, I was this. Don't buy that. That's lie. So when somebody come there, you work here or you work there, and somebody just coming and tell you oh, I was this, I was this, my cat, man, that's a lie. Maybe even that guy you don't have to shoot. <laughs> believe me, never believe those people like that. No, no. First, also have to when you fight also soldier army the way you walk, yeah. And if you want to know a little army, look him in the eye. You see, one eye is a little bit small, and one eye is big. Yeah, that's a real army, and he went to the war. Because the way, every time, when you want to join the forces, everything, they have to, one eye. That's one eye, one eye for the target. And one eye you have to, when you get a target. So, yeah, when you work that for a long time ago, wherever, your eye will be like that if you leave it or not but always you have to be with one eye up and down but when you see it's like that like that no that's a lie you know what i mean especially nowadays also we do have fake police yeah fake police because they come there they knock your door they're robbers they knock your door and they want to to give you when the fake police come to your house to knock the door and policeman make sure it's a full uniform but don't see he's only putting a police jacket and you have the jeans, no. Those are police. When you put police uniform, you have to put full. And if you're undercover or a detective, wherever, you put suit, something full. But you cannot only put police jacket and you have put jeans, no. That's not allowed. Yeah. That's how to define it. You have to define also the, uh, when to the airport or wherever, you want to identify the fake Marie, fake uh, the soldier, fake Navy, because there's some people, the fake people around here and they were. Look at the badge. The badge always should be on shoulder. The badge, yeah. But not under. The badge always should be on shoulder here. This here you have to put the badge always. And always uh, Navy, Marine, wherever. 
should be shaved. Shaved and your haircut should be also cut. Yeah. Me, I remember one day I was in the West Point there and uh, I was training wherever. Then I, I find two, uh, two uh, I don't know, two generals. They were walking towards me. Yeah, so I didn't know how to salute. <laughs> because I can salute this side and I can salute this side. You know what I mean? So, but they're walking towards me and I'm going and you cannot turn around there that, oh, I salute this side and then I about turn and salute this side. No, I saluted two times. <laughs> double salute. So, yeah, man, that's it. They, they, they call me man, double salute guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, that's how things happen. Yeah, yeah. So with these days nowadays, we are fake. Too many fake people, and that's all. Even like if you're a policeman or everything, you must be trained. You know how to spot people. When you know this is a fake guy, see how he walks. You know how marine walks. You know how police walks. Yeah, because marine or, or police. Yeah, like marine training. I cannot tell you because you never marine. Police too. Policemen, you have to train hard, yeah, because I'll give you tip to catch these people like this, like that, like that. But fake people, you more or less, you, you can very easily catch them, yeah, because always the uh, the soldiers or uh, army, almost everybody faces up, always. The head is up on top, but not always head like this, no. That's always. And the way they walk, also different, yeah, with any uh, civilian, you know. So that's how it is. But nowadays in Europe, you have these people here, the fake people here, the fake people here. Man, nobody can come to your house and say that, oh, I'm police open. No, no, no. And you cannot see a, a first SWAT team to come in. No, no, no. SWAT team, they come 12 and above. Mm? Because you have six group this side and six group this side, you know. Yeah. Just like a war. Because a uh, long time ago, war, people, they didn't know. But nowadays, the war, when people, they're fighting, shooting each other in the jungle, everything, do, 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 do. Then you have group, you have group this side who are facing, and you have also group behind you who are taking cover of you. You see, because nowadays people you can be fighting, do 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 do, you're focusing on on forward, but there's some people these people don't know, but they're surrounding you. Yeah, my friend, <laughs> <laughs> they're surrounding you, my friend. Yeah, so you're not focusing on shooting, shooting, do 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 do, and yeah. But in the back, there's something. So if you're a team captain, you already know. I put this cover here, this cover here. This front side, you guys, you go shooting. And this side, man, surround them. Yeah. So they are shooting us, but you are surrounding them. You know what I mean? Yeah. And here also my back, I also have the cover back. Because when these people so wanted to surround us, I already have cover back. Nobody can shoot me. That's how you should roll like a team captain, you know. Yeah, with the military men or marine, it's very, very bad training, yeah. Because marine, first time when you start training, my friend, you know what they do you? <laughs> you cry. Yeah, they tie your hands and your legs and they throw you in the water. <laughs> yeah, they tie your, and they, they don't tie your hands in front, no, on the back, with your legs. And then they throw you in the water, my friend. They tell you, okay, survive there. They'll be... The guy there is the guy will be watching his time and his watch wherever. I don't know what happened, yeah. That's how it happened. Yeah, believe me. Yeah. Because you think that Marine is a joke. Marine is not a joke. Or special forces. No, no. That training is shit, my friend. Very shit. When you cannot train, you can even die. Yeah. With so many people there now come die. Yeah. Ten percent of the all year trainer die because they cannot handle. Yeah, because the people they used to eat every day, morning, uh, uh, morning, uh, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, so when you go there, you only eat once a day, and you need to train. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Even if you're a policeman, wherever, man, always you have to make sure that you don't eat every time. This, this, this. No, just eat once a day, eat dinner. But this, wherever, morning, wherever, coffee. Uh, prime time, what do you do? Prime time, small snackies, fruits, wherever. But you don't have to eat. Why? Because even if you don't eat, you kill the bacteria in your stomach. That's how Muslim also does Ramadan. Because 
when uh, you don't eat there's some bacteria in your in your stomach they will die you know what i mean yeah so that's why also if you go to military courses also some courses you don't have to eat you go practice for 14 days yeah 15 uh, uh, for four months yeah only eating less 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 eating why because you've been in the war my friend yeah like afghanistan in the war there's bullshit man because there you on step on step because they are they kill people's minds you know yeah because the body here the body there you body there you don't know so you have to click it we're calling it step forward <laughs> dangerous step you know as to say so man that's with soldier but with soldier is bullshit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you protect your own country but protect your country to be sent there 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 and you don't know say the shit this shit or what happened but yeah that does things happen you know but always to be smart people you don't also to know as a smart policeman you also have to know fake people yeah this is a fake guy this is a genuine guy this is a fake guy you know yeah. and the fully policeman i'm telling you have to train 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 every day but don't think that all train was only uh, running on the water halfway on your legs and uh, training on the sliding sand no also gym but you don't have to go gym on like that gym like uh you go need no 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 carry the stone no go gym we have gym like there setting on above there you see it's interesting and then you have one two three four five i think eight or ten ten things you see it's like a higher beam the higher beam or higher thing but it's there. That is most fitness they have. But only special fitness. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's there. You see one, one, two, three, four, until eight, wherever. But it's up. So when you got that, you have to jump on it. You know? So when you jump on it, you can go one, two, three, four, until the back. You go front and you go on the back, you know? That give you power for climbing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So when you go to the also gym, also to find gym which is equipped with everything. Yeah. Equipped with also things that like that one and this one, you know, it's like this. Always they put it like you pull it, but pull it is not good. No, put it like this. Yeah, just stand on it and then do it one to one to one to one to one to you know, cha 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 cha. cha. Yeah, that's you blend your power. You know what I mean? Mm. And always swim and do the swimming fast before you dive. When you're diving in the swimming pool, wherever, first you dive. After you dive, you take all your air in the stomach. You go in there in the water. You stay for one minute or two minutes. Just down there. You like, you know, because most of policemen, you need pressure. Yeah. If you don't have pressure, you can never win. No, you need pressure. And also when you're running always, you need also not to open your mouth. No, you breathe with your nose. Not, no, 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 no. You never make swimming as well. You never have to open your mouth, no. Just one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. But you can never open your mouth when you're running. You don't have power, my friend, no. Breathe with your nose. Because also this policeman job, you need power. But power, power on your breath, yeah. But you don't have the... Also in the sea also, when the seas come, it's a... Uh, you went to holiday or somewhere. We also have some... Uh, exercise you can do in the sea yeah my friend yeah exercise nice exercise you can do in the sea man okay that's why i'll make it another video yeah yeah <laughs> because i don't want to give you too much policemen you know mm -hmm. and people they can think oh why you are policemen or policemen because policemen the first dangerous job yeah yeah policemen the first and most of policemen they're stupid too because they use their, their badge or something to threaten to people. No, never do that. Especially even if you are this in the like, drug country like this. When somebody call you, oh, this is my neighbor, doing this, doing this. When you go to that neighbor, relax and listen to the story. But don't go there and, oh, when this guy telling you this, you already be mad and even you're checking his car. Hey, did he pack a nice parking? Wherever, blah, blah, blah. No, never do that. Never. No. This is a dark, dark country. People can bring there, people can do this, couple, but 
when your policeman always you have to be humble yeah what is your job be humble and listen to the stories but you cannot tell the, the, the story because ah this is a foreigner and this is that guy who called me or that bevrau called me so you are always on your side <coughs> <coughs> no never do that always listen to this case listen to this guy okay is this and this and this then try to think but let him finish and listen to this even when that guy come up you know you don't come up no listen listen and what people also have to tell you when somebody is drunk or something please 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 when you hear you had a statement before after him and everything you don't have to repeat it no because then you look like a fool because you pretend you're smart you know things but you know nothing you know what i mean that's how policemen they fail in this country because policemen in this country once they come to you they already try to repeat you oh the last day we come to you you are like this and you said this today this no never repeat pretend you don't know when that guy will tell you himself then you know it's the truth you know what i mean that's how people fucked up here yeah so you you get your badge you get everything but man you're facing dangerous dangerous you need to tread and you need to be smart but all you use crown threatening people and uh, and uh, and how do you say uh, don't like these people how do you say disrespect these people because they are black people they no 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 you serve to protect the old civilians in your country because you never know maybe that your white guy is problem always you know yeah so but this guy is only like that and there but these people are jealous on him and you never know so when you listen to his stories and everything then you know yeah you try to compare but you cannot judge him you said oh you screaming you screaming you screaming ask him why do you scream why do you are not happy ah, seeing us here then the guy tell you oh, man i'm not happy like this i'm not happy like this i'm not happy because of this yeah but you cannot just judge somebody and say oh, do do blah 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 no and most of the people here like this country is a drug country most people they drink most people they have this so when even you come to somebody do man somebody will be higher level you know what i mean but so the next day when you speak to him you never believe what kind of guy humble is you know so me i'm giving you a tip if you're police but my friend always you don't have to panic and you don't have to bring your uh, how do you say anger no anger on policemen no you have to protect everyone so you protect also black guy he's a foreigner yeah because uh, this most small job is here like the distribution wherever everything here if is this not foreigner nobody can do this because the you white guys who can never do it no it's a job you know you can never do it so appreciate this foreigner to be here and to be here you must also protect them because this most of you your white fellow doesn't like them why because they have good time yeah those things also have to know this is what is going in your country but don't think oh this is country i'm a policeman i'm i'm only protect my people no you protect everybody everybody as long as a, a citizen as long as in your country is on you it doesn't matter if black or white no no no, no. and you're called that this case it is also here the case for this guy who called because this guy can call you oh, this guy play music every day boom 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 go to him and ask him why do you play music every day oh i play music every day because it's this and this and this and this try to tune him in down to you okay you go to him there ah oh this guy we call him this guy every day screaming 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 every day yeah screaming scream every day and why go and talk to him why scream every day and why and why you know this guy will tell you because when uh, somebody doing these things some people do the same thing yeah because me i'm here me i already pay 160 euros because of my screaming but every day here there's this polish here they live here on this house i don't know it's a rent house down here wherever this polish here they come here drunk every day and screaming there on the balcony talking until two o'clock three o'clock in the night but nobody can face them because they are white or i don't know they're scared of them wherever but since i i paid that 160 man i stand on my balcony and i tell them my friend i pay the same shit as you and no scream of here people want to sleep everybody want to sleep 
Since that day, men are never heard of screaming anymore. Because these white people, I don't know, they, they scare of Polish, wherever. Men, you don't have to scare for nobody. You're ready to scream for the black man. But the white guy, like Polish guy, you never scream of him. No, no, no. But me, since I paid that money, 160 euros, fine. I'm telling you, I don't want to hear any noise. No, man. Yeah, because that's what they did. Yeah, because this my neighbor down here, them always, when I, when I first move here, this guy is a handy guy. He's, repair, he's repairing, repairing this one every day, every day. The kid is crying every day, night, every day. And this guy, you know where he repair? He repair my bedroom. The time that I sleep, I hear, okay, I already wake in the, in the living room. I go in the kitchen every day. Aye. But me, I never go to police. I never call the police. I never even complain. Okay. Something, another thing, they're fighting. Every day you in the morning that I don't know the wife or the man is you hear everything they say. Everything they said loud and clear, my friend. They don't think I don't hear, but I hear everything. I never call police to them. But then they call me police more than eight times because of my music. Music that I don't play every day and night. I play music here only uh, Friday or Saturday or Sunday. And then I put, put, because me, I have subwoofer. I have my friend there. I have one, two, three, four. Only subwoofers. And there are twitchers. Oh my God. Yeah. But only I play music with a small speaker. Small one. Small speaker. When I show you, you never believe. Small speaker play music. I just put my phone next to it. Because when you put your phone next to speaker, people they think it's intercity or something. But yeah, it's just like that. So with that, they call me police ten times until I get the, uh, I get the, I get the fine. Yeah, really. So that's why I'm, that since that day I'm telling him, man, you always thinking about uh, about yourself, but not about me. Yeah, you think about yourself because me since I came here two months, three months, he's doing his own shit. He's doing grrr, grrr. Me, I never call the police. I don't have time to call police because I want to share. I live with it, you know. But him, he didn't think about me. He was thinking about himself. That's how fucked up was. But now, when I already paid this money, my friend, eh, 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 one day, he was here. I don't know, fixing something. And he was like, I stand there on my balcony. I tell him, hey, man, stop this shit. All right now, I'm telling you, I'll put my music Low volume, full volume, yeah? It did not stop. I put my music at tiny uh, 50, uh, no, 15, 15, yeah, halfway, three quarter, three, uh, quarter. Ah, within half an hour, I stop it himself. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's how it is to deal with these stupid people. Because there's some people only thinking themselves. Mm? And the one day he was doing, because these white people always, they're only on them. Yeah, this guy, yeah, he had that, that uh, sew machine. He's sewing there, day and night. He's putting the dust up and down, dust everywhere. Nobody talks. But when a black guy do everything, people talk. Yeah, that's a problem. Because me, I'm living in the flat. It's a buying flat, but there's no any black man. There's one flat, two flat, three flat, no black man. It's only me. So, but these people, they're jealous with me. Why? Because I stand there, they were balcony, I told them already. I told them, you guys, if you're really good fathers and mothers, what you have to do, you don't have to live here with your own kids. You torture them. Yeah, kids, they need a big room with the, with the, to play with friends. But there's no kid want to live in the flat because most of flat is for the, for the, for the teenage. Yeah, the guy is solo man or solo woman. Or girlfriend and boyfriend. And mostly grandpa and grandma. So when you bring your kid, wake up to see grandma or whatever, man, you make him, yeah. Your kid also cannot play, doesn't have a garden, doesn't have anything. You like torturing your kid, you know, things like that. Yeah, I told them, because yeah, that's how you roll in Europe. I told them, man, you see people who didn't live in this stupid flat, man, they didn't even go to school. Yeah, man, it's your country. You didn't even go to school at least. And because here in Europe, people, they do, they copy people. So when you see somebody have a kid, I also want to have a kid. But you don't know the problem of a kid. Yeah, you can never have a kid and living in an apartment. Apartment with a kid, you don't have even room, rooms. Kid to have in a own room, even guests to have a own room. Even kid have 
a playground to play. No, kids play in the flat. There's only balcony over balcony, single room, one toilet. Nothing you can do in the flat, my friend. No, we just need a just house, big house with the stairs and everything. Kid have his own room. You also have your own office. You have everything. You know what I mean? So I was telling them that, man, people who are living in this shit, they didn't go to school. So that's how they hate me, but it's true. Even if I born to this country, I never live on this fucking flat. No, with my kid, never. I born in this country, man, I make sure I make it to the director. Why? I want to be useful to my country, but not be there, smoking weed there, talking about behind people back there, blowing people's uh, black, uh, black foreigners' uh, cars, fireworks, yeah, doing this, doing that, doing that. Look, just like Morocco people. Nobody likes them in the whole Europe. Why? They make cows. Yeah, they make cows. Look, people celebrate with their football everywhere, everywhere. But there's nobody ever get caught celebrating football. But look, when Morocco, uh, Moroccan people uh, uh, celebrating with their football, cows everywhere. They get arrested, they get beaten, they do this. They, because they do football cows, they do dangerous things. Blowing people's cars, fireworks, blowing people with fireworks. Man, that's not allowed. You spoil that name to your own country. Yeah. Because there's years to come. There's no any company will, will employ in Morocco. And first of all, they are already, already, they are already bad, bad at. Yeah. I already saw Moroccan guy there. There are like, like four or five Moroccan men. They fire me just like that. Most of them even run away. Because of their bad attitude. Because first of all, they are poor. And they pretend they are Arabic. And they are not Arabic. They are African. You know? That's how foolish they are. Yeah. Because, man, Moroccan people, man, they already spoiled their name in Europe. Yeah. My friend, myself, I don't have to have a Moroccan friend. No. Because when you roll with the Moroccan friend, everybody will call you a gangster. Yeah. We'll call you a gangster. You can roll friends wherever, wherever, but not too close friends. But everybody will call you a gangster. Because Moroccan also, they already make their, their name here in Europe to be as a gangster. And with these football men, they're blowing people's car, fireworks, cars everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. Look, the whole world, people that celebrate football, but do you see no cows with like Moroccan here, here, everywhere? No. That's how stupid people look like. Yeah. So I'm telling you, man, Moroccan, you spoil your name in, in the whole Europe. Yeah, man. You spoil your name, my friend. Yeah. That's not good, man. No. Because nobody's going to employ you anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And first of all, some of Moroccans, they are bad at they have this jealous thing, you know. They don't like black man to win. They don't even want black white man to win and we're in their own country. You know what I mean? Things like that. You never have success. Me myself, when there be somebody country, I want him first. Why? I'm his own country. But I cannot come here to his own country. Now I want to pretend I'm the boss. And him himself, I want to kick his ass. No, nothing gonna go good for me. Because this guy opened door for me. I respect him, no. But the way I, uh, the, the way how to have to respect him, no, I slap him and kick his ass. That's not good, man. You spoiled for your own people, my friend, yeah? Because, man, I'm telling you, there's nothing to spoil the name of the nation. At least you spoil one name for me or for, yeah, one name. But you know, not all the name. Now you have to go to Netherlands, wherever you ask for Moroccan, you said, oh, me, I'm a Moroccan, man, nobody likes you. Because you know you're a cows. You know you're trouble, even if school. When you say that you're Moroccan, you only find bad, bad friends. Friends who smoke weed, friends who sell drugs. But you never find good friends or friends that with the talent to help you. Nobody. And nobody will trust you if you said you're Moroccan. Nobody. Because they know everybody in Morocco is shit in Europe. Nobody will trust you, my friend. Mm? That's how Moroccan they spoil their, their name in Europe nowadays. Yeah. They really spoil their name very bad. From mafia to this uh, football cows to everything they did because this is now their picture because their picture they the sport the football and the mafia but inside the, these companies people they don't know but in these companies also this all their team leaders they also resist people bad way like that yeah you remember one day Moroccan guy told me that man you work here if you don't work go and he's a team leader. Why? Because one day I put Tommy Ilfiga shirt, the second day I put Polo shirt. 
You know? That's why they told me like that. After that, same, same guy from the post and was a Moroccan guy. He pretend that, oh, I'm your friend, I'm helping you, blah, 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 blah. But it's what? He doesn't help me. He pretend to help me, but meanwhile, he's setting me up in order me to get fired or go away. Yeah, foolish. Same, same, like another Moroccan. When I still have my ex-wife, we live together, I was ordering the DJ uh, devices. So one day I ordered the Pioneer DJ, and the second day I ordered the D D D D D J S one. It was a big box like this. So yeah, when I order with him those devices, man, it became to give my friend because he wanted to know what this kind of box you uh, you order, the big boxes. But I told him, man, this is only mixture. There's no drugs on here. Yeah, man, that guy followed me. Yeah, I come there until he make me he become my friend. Because he thought that I was a drug dealer or something. That's how Moroccan people look in Europe. Even these Moroccan people who are work with you with these deliveries, man, don't trust them. They are not good. Yeah. I have a Moroccan man who deliver me in my mixture, DJ, DJ mixture, because I'm a DJ too. First of all, I bought 2000 DJ mixture. And secondly, I bought the D, D, DJ S1. It was a big box. That Moroccan man, he have to make friends with me. Yeah, because he want to know why all that big box. He thought I was a drug dealer, you see? So, man, I'm telling you, when you, when you see Moroccan is delivering from you, never be friend with him. He's only want to be do you to know you and then steal from you. But, man, never trust them. No, never. Never. I already know. Because some Moroccans, they are good. Some Moroccans, they are bad. Badass. Very bad. But me, man, I don't trust nobody, you know? That's how trend. Never trust no one, you know. Never. Because how to, to identify people, good people and bad people. Man, people talk too much, blah, 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 blah. I'm nothing. Yeah. When you go somewhere, the guy tell you, oh, this, I have this. Oh, I had this. Oh, I had this. He don't want to, he just want to be complete. Man, that guy is foolish. Leave him. Mm. But don't tell some guy that, oh, I have this. You see that I quiet. No, he did have it. Oh, I have this? No, he didn't have it. That's a good friend. But don't see that. Oh, you tell him, man, I have this car. Oh, I have this also. I have this also. I have this also. With the photo and everything. I have this. Blah, 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 blah. Man, that's fake shit. Run away. Yeah, that's how they're fooling you. Because some people now, they think that, oh, if I have this guy to trust me, I have to tell him that I have everything. Yeah. Oh, man. This world is new now. You know what I mean? That's how to identify liar. Even with fighting, yeah? When you want to fight, before you fight, when somebody is telling you, oh, I'm going to kick your ass, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to do you this, I'm going to do you that, I'm going to do this, man. That guy cannot fight. Fight is action. When you see the guy is quiet waiting for action, that's dangerous. But don't see the guy telling you, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to kick your ass, I'm going to wherever, I'm going to do you this, I'm going to do you this, I'm going to do you this. Huh. Give you only one slap. <laughs> He's fighting. Yeah, he's sweating, my friend. You know what I mean? Yeah. <coughs> mm -hmm. mm. And if your policeman want to tell you something, <coughs> because when you already <coughs> train with these uh, people, Taekwondo, Karate, Judo, uh, Tai Chi, because Tai Chi people, they don't know, hey, Tai Chi, that is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Tai Chi, whatever, those things, Kung Fu. Also, when you practice, practice with a tree, a real tree, my friend. Mm, real tree, my friend. Punch that tree. Hit that tree. And make sure when you punch that tree, you have to punch them on this one. Because this is the most painful places with blockings, you know? Yeah. So this one also have to test the tree. Yeah, you kick the, the live tree. The big tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Kick the trees, man. Go there after running. Kick the trees. Hit them. Give them this. Give them that. Of course, you feel pain, but you gain. Mm. Because, man, nobody can beat you more than tree. That's just only a bone, you know. But you also can face the tree, my friend. Yeah. Even that tree give me head. That tree, yeah, man. Big tree, yeah. Go there. Just and make sure you train on the same tree every day. Because why? If you want to know how you train, you see the crouches. 
the tree will be the way you beat always is a little bit yeah always you have to fight with the tree you punch the tree my friend you punch the tree you make sure the tree i think the skin is and every day same tree same tree until you make a scar on the tree mm, that's how you gain you know what i mean yeah yeah fighting always yeah you have to bring your design on the tree because there's a and don't do bodybuilding no bodybuilding is dangerous why because when somebody put a knife for you here you never heal for one year yeah because nowadays bodybuilder people they do this they drink this they drink this but it's dangerous for their life that is only good for bodybuilders to drink this drink this but you, you cannot work a police as a bodybuilder you want no police you don't have to be slim like me why ready on go you can jump here you can jump there you can jump there you know what i mean yeah and also when you go to gym after that thing because i told you you have a row something is up but it's a row you have one two three like this like that but you, you jump on them and then you can go up placed up placed but you know up place you have to go one one you, you go you go you go like a monkey you know you go ta 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 back and front back and front back and front yeah and always you go to up pressed pressed up you know also push-ups because most people some people they don't know push up but i'm telling you if a policeman you want to do push-ups always you have to do like this and put them down like this yeah why because it's expand your 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 finger so that you can catch somebody here nicely you know what i mean yeah, you put your push up like this and then you put them down. So you have to go down like this. Mm -hmm. One, two, twenty, thirty. But always this have to face down. This way. You see this way? Have to down. Mm. Now you're gaining. And another push up too. When you finish this, then you have to put this one like this. And then you put them like this too. Yeah. That's how to go push up. Nicely. Because then this one will be good. Mm. This one is because of shooting. To make your gun harder, you know, and tough. Mm, yeah, I don't have to show you many things <laughs> because people they let me. But what I'm telling you, if a policeman, man, every day you have to exercise. Yeah, there's also push up. You have to do all this straight like this. Yeah, this one and this one have to touch only the ground. Yeah, you go fifty. This one only like this fifty, and after that you also go like this fifty. Mm. And then you turn it now like this. Mm, 50. Oh. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 my friend. After that, you're done. And then they have to do like this now. Only here. You see this one and this one. This one you do 40. Mm, this one only 40. Only here I have to touch the ground. Only here. But always they go like this side. Mm -hmm. After you're done with that, Mm -hmm. Now you have to take only this one. You see this one? Yeah. Yeah, like this. You go like this, 20 or 30. And after you finish like that, now you go like this now. Mm. You put now push up like this, but you're assigned only this one. Mm, my friend, you'll be strong as a fiddle. You know what I mean? Mm. But nobody can catch you on this beating wherever. Man, when you catch somebody only like this, will cry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Will cry, my friend. Mm. Always you have to make your head strong. That's always. Because when you catch somebody somewhere, he knows that somebody catch me. Touch me. Yeah. If you touch your arm like this, nobody can take it out. Mm -hmm. Harder, my friend. Yeah, that's why always you need to do like this. Like this. You go this one, 50. You know, this push up 50. And after that, you turn it around and then you do this one 50. Yeah. After that, also, you turn it around, then you make double now, like this 50. Yeah. After that, now you turn it around, now you do this one 50. Mm. After that, then you combine them together like this. But this one has to be on your chest. You lean on your chest. Yeah. Together like this 50. Mm. My friend. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's too many push up I didn't show you, but then I push up and I show you, man. When you catch somebody only like this, he's done. <laughs> he's done, you know what I mean? That's how to be a policeman. 
But policeman is not like this or joke or joke. No, man. Always you need to exercise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exercise, exercise. But don't get this whole exercise and then you try to be rude to the people and to beat people. No. Be humble because these people can destroy your name to the judge. They say, oh, this policeman, he slapped me, he did me this. That's not good. When you arrest somebody, do something good, very good. People to slap or people to beat or these people who are doing like uh, stupid things here. You know? Uh, yeah, screaming with football or throwing fireworks. Yeah, those people, man, when you, this is this kind of push up, you slap only this guy like this. Pooh! He's falling. This guy also, boom, is falling. Yeah, boom, is falling. Yeah. Because you need a strong hand, my friend. Strong hand is because when always the hand is starting with the fingers. This all things have to be strong. And then you say, because me, myself, my, myself, let me tell you one thing happened to me. My first day to shoot the gun, two days I was sick. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I get the gun. The guy told me, man, be careful. Everything, yeah, putting the target. But I didn't know how, how I was gunned. Hey, hey, hey. That thing came out and came out because it went like this. Kaboom! <laughs> That's why it went. It went like this. Kaboom! So it broke my nose. I was bleeding and my nose was swallowing for two days. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. That was my first day shooting. Mm. It was drama, really, really, yeah, it's training, but yeah, then you get to know this, get to know this, get to know this, get to know this, but I'm telling you, my first day shooting the gun, I almost broke my nose, mm -hmm. I broke it, because my nose is not long, because I have two days problem, mm -hmm. it was swallowing, the first day that the, that thing went out on my, because I was shooting, the guy told me, okay, put like this, put like this, okay. I was doing like this, already ready to go, yeah? Ready to go. Okay, ready to go, ready to go. Okay. The body stabbed me, okay, shoot. But I didn't know how that first thing come out with. <laughs> that thing went, Yeah, man. It is calm itself, I don't know if I did a few months ago. <laughs> because it shocked me too, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's how it is, man. But that's why I'm not a joke, man. No, no. So that some people can tell you, yeah, oh, I'm a soldier, fake soldier around here, wherever. Man, there's nobody can tell you he's a soldier. Soldier, always soldier, military, they're trained to keep the secret. Why? Because themselves, they're a weapon. You know what I mean? So you always learn to keep your secret. But you don't have to tell everybody, hey, me, I'm a soldier, oh, blah, 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 blah. Man, that's fake. Never believe people like that. Never. Never believe, no. So when you work there with this small job and somebody's telling you, soldier, man, don't even give him attention. Because he's lying. Oh, soldier, my country, whatever, blah, blah, man. No, nothing. Oh. Me are no soldier, my friend. Soldier is not, you don't have to tell nobody your secret, no. Your secret is only action. But when things go down, then you can show people who I am. And after all, they're going to know, oh, this guy was this and this. Then they know, right? But keeping here, going around, telling this company, oh, I'm a soldier. That company, I'm a soldier. Oh, I went to military, what? Man, that's fake. If somebody went to military, man can never say. Military is a secret. You don't have to tell nobody that I'm a military. Because yourself, you are, you are a weapon. You know, yeah. Yeah, you are a weapon, my friend. Yourself, you are a weapon. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so those people are telling you a blah, 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 man. Never kite them. Just tell them, okay, okay, okay. But you do what you think. But yeah, when they come to bring you shit, man, you can even give them one clap, they die. Yeah. Because me, I know people train. Yeah. People are trained. You don't, you are not allowed to tell anyone that you're a soldier or military. You are not. You're not allowed. No, man. But when you see somebody's going around, they're saying, I was this, I was this. No, man. It's fooling. And that's a lie. That's a lie, man. No. That's a lie. You know? Yeah. That's a very lie. I never believe that. No. Never. I promise you.
Oh, I, I'm trained, I know. First thing we tell, we've been told there, we don't have there, is to keep your secret. Yeah? Who are you? Nobody. You don't you no need to identify yourself to any civilian. Anyone. No, man. Yourself, your weapon. How can you just tell like this guy that I was this? I was this? No. No, you can never say that. But there's some people now, they use that in order to, to cheat people, lie people. In order people to respect them or to get scared of them. No. When somebody tells you, oh, soldier, wherever, wherever, man, he's fooling you. Yeah. And they were scared of that guy. No. That's a lie. You hear me? Yeah. That's a very big lie. And that's nowadays in Netherlands. Yeah, people now, they're going in the companies. Yeah, companies and, and lying people. You know that people to respect them or make friends with them. No, <laughs> me man, no. You don't know me man. That's how it is. But if somebody cannot tell you because people they think, ah, oh, when this guy is a soldier, when, they, when I get trouble now, I protect me. No, nobody can protect you. Everybody for himself. He'll be like you as a soldier, but when I have problem, call me, man, man, I have problem, please. Some guy just say, kill my daughter, come and help me. No, every day you call him, he tell you I'm busy. Oh, I'm busy. Oh, I don't know. It's not my country. Yeah. After that, then you'll start hearing excuse after excuse, excuse after excuse. But you tell him, man, I want to employ you as my bodyguard. Hey, you'll be ready, ready. Mm. Even you don't know how to fight. But he said, yeah, I'm ready. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how it is. Yeah. But nobody can come here in Europe and scare you in this small job that, oh, because you drive Mercedes or the uh, Audi or BMW, when he come to tell you that, oh, me, I was counted my soldier wherever because he want to scare you, this man, no. Soldier, military, marine, wherever, special forces, you know now to tell your colleagues in stupid job like this. Tell them that, oh, me, I was this, I was this. No, it's not allowed. First of all, because you're a weapon. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can destroy the whole company. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you are. So you're dangerous. So, but when you see somebody just coming to say that was army there to tell this, tell this, tell this, man, that's nothing. That's a lie. You know what I mean? That's a very lie. And don't, nobody can scare you with that thing. Man, do your job as well and don't even respect it. And after somebody telling you, man, disrespect it and see what you can do. Man, nothing you can do, man. Police, they're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, man, no scary, man, don't think that, oh, this guy is telling me that, oh, this, because some people, they say that because they need respect and they need people to scare them. No, man, people, they're not fooling you because you don't know him, you don't know where he came from. That's why he's telling you, oh, so they can tell you when I was command. Yeah, you don't know him, you think, yeah, maybe he is. But people who are soldiers, wherever, they can never tell, no. Why? They never. That's the whole secret. First of all, when you join them, this fucking thing, always you have to keep your secret. That's the first thing they tell you. Yeah. You have to keep your secret. But you cannot just go there and say to everybody, oh, put in the news, oh, me, I'm a soldier, me, I'm this, I'm this, me, you know, that people to respect you. No, that's lie. Lie. Because in that rule of soldier, first rule number two or three, I don't know, you don't, because rule number one is no fear. Yeah, but there's also a rule that, that you have to keep yourself secret. But you don't have to tell everybody that, oh, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. No, it's not allowed. Mm -mm. The whole world military. That's the second, the same rule. Yeah? yeah. Same rule. Yeah. But policemen also, you, you, sometimes you don't have to tell yourself if you're a policeman. If you put your, your how do you say, your civilian clothes. Yeah, no, just walk normally, just walk like things, but you don't have to tell people, uh, you walk there, everybody, pa, you show the badge. No, you're foolish. <laughs> because nowadays when people, they have also have policemen, they give people stress. Stress with policemen. I mean, what policemen is just like that. No, policemen, you have to grow. Yeah, because you start with constable, constable, then you start with the constable, and then you go to the cop law. And then you go to the sergeant, and then you go to the no, uh, couple of sergeant, couple of sergeant, major, and then major you go to the OCS. After OCS you go to the OCPD. After OCPD you go to the PPO. 
after PPO, then you go to the commission, you know? Commission, yeah, that's how police they were. But uh, with police, you have, to, you have to go to the whole department because you have also traffic police, we also have, uh, yeah, but traffic police is also dangerous. Mm -hmm. You need to know how to drive. You'll be just sitting in the car, watching the kilometers. But uh, in Africa, traffic police, you're rich. You're a billionaire, my friend. Mm -hmm. Because the much money you're going to get. <laughs> traffic police is very good in Africa to work. It's really travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, really. Yeah, if you're dreaming to be a policeman in Africa, become a traffic policeman, you'll be rich. Yeah, you'll be very rich. Yeah, very rich, my friend. Because those brands you get, nobody gonna know. Yeah, but now they spend, people also catch them. Yeah, they catch them too much. And in Africa too, also stupid. Because we also have the NTSA, these people blowing. Because these people blowing, also they, when they see you drunk and everything, they also want some money. Yeah, but they can leave somebody drunk to take the car and go. Yeah, because of course you come from the party and you see the police traffic is there blowing. So you are you alone. So what you're gonna do? You stop your car far away and you go to the passenger seat and you sit, you relax. You relax, you relax police, they'll be thinking, ah, there's a car stop there. Why they no car coming, coming. So when the car is coming, you coming there and the guy comes coming, said, hey, what's up, minister, wherever you guy, wherever, uh, what's up, everything good? Yeah, everything good. Where's the driver? Ah, the driver was drunk. And uh, the driver saw you and he ran away. Yeah. So this same police is telling you, please, can you move the car a little bit far away because we need the car to go. You block the road and you're drunk. So you gotta tell policeman, I'm going to drive this car, but I'm a little bit drunk. All drunk. But that's not allowed. So that's also the way policemen in Africa they fail. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's how they fail. Because they're corrupted and things they do this, they do this. Because how first of all, you can say that the guy, he's the boss, and he have his own driver. And he's sitting on the passenger seat. And how can you let the driver to drive you meanwhile he's drunk? No. It's dangerous for yourself. You know? And then you say that, oh, driver ran away when he saw you. Yeah, no, 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 no. You two should be there. Leave the car there and go. But don't say that, oh, the driver saw you and ran away because he was drunk. And you, if the boss, me, even when a policeman may arrest you. Yeah. Arrest you because first of all you're drunk. Secondly, your driver is drunk and run away and leave the car. Yeah, no. Yeah, because there's some people also can trick you. Yeah, because they can be driving drunk. They're driving when they're drinking already and they're drunk. But when they see the police thing, they sit on the on the passenger seat and pretending that oh the driver ran away. No, arrest him. Mm, you say if the driver ran away, call him and make sure he come here. You don't go. Yeah, take the another police, put the gear on the free, push the car outside there. Yeah, that's how it is. But you can never do this shit. No, that's also another policeman they fail. Yeah, on stupid things. No, man. No. Mm -mm. And if you're a really good policeman, you can never let somebody to drive the car when he drunk. You say, that, oh, okay, can you move this car? Yeah, I can move it, but I'm a little bit drunk. No. Yourself, when you're policeman, you already have your backup. You only put people there who can drive the cars that this things, the situation like this. That's even like this Netherlands, because this Netherlands also I see with police chase, with these scooters, with everything. They also do shit. Man, you also have to everything with chase. Police chase on the car. Like this, we have this your roads here. You have this roads with the bumps. It's higher than what? This one, man, you, get, you need to get truck with four wheels. So, mm, this car going here, going here, man, you're ready, ready. And with the scooter thing, so you have to do this scooter. How to get the scooter guy easily without getting hurt? Because the scooter guy have helped me, right? You go, you go, you go, you go next to him. After you go next to him, next to him, 
you make sure there is a grass there, there's no uh, flat space, you push him. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> yeah. That's how to do, but you cannot make it. And also, you need to have these bikes too. These, uh, yeah, cross bikes. Because these cross bikes also make you sweat. No. Always you have to have cross bikes because your bikes are loaded. No, man. Have your cross bikes. And how to get this scooter, people, wherever, this one is very easy. Yeah. Just follow him, follow him, follow him, follow him, and go, go, go next to him. But you see him next to the grass, push him. Mm -hmm. It's done. It never get hurt, no. He'll pretend, but never get hurt, no. And you arrest him, you give him his fine. And always it's like that. But don't make people see, set you in the cross back here, boo, bullshit. <coughs> <coughs> and also you have to make, like in the police in Netherlands, you, you also have your roads, you know. Because you have your roads that always, some people, they go with the scooter and you follow them with the police car. And they, they go there on the scooter and there's a bike place. You can never go. <coughs> <coughs> so when like that, then you have to put your cross bike guys. Ready, ready. Mm. Yeah. When you see the last thing you have to be, yeah, you have to have your cross bikes. You have to have your four-wheel cars who can go even the bush bush, my friend. Yeah. You have to, when you're police, you have to be set on everything. But don't wear this, wear this, because most of police here, the highest guy know is Volkswagen. This uh, to run, bushy shit. No, that's not higher thing. Man. You need to find track double kidney, my friend. Mm, that's only chasing in the street with the bumps. Yeah. That's one, yeah. You go here because when you see this five feet path is closed, you can just go in the bush bush already. And you go in the around, you're still going. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you never have to lose somebody on the scooter or somebody on this shit, on this shit. No, 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 no. That's what you never have to do. No. Never. Yeah, when you policemen always you have to have gear for chasing everybody. Yeah, chasing everybody, my friend. But you cannot be here that you're a policeman and you're doing this, you're doing that, you're doing this every day on the news. You lose this guy, like you're chasing this guy with the cars. Yeah, that yeah, that video I'll never forget. I saw it there on the TikTok. I don't. Yeah, I saw like three policemen cars is chasing two guys on the foot. Yeah, I was very sad because I saw what kind of this. And those people, they're unarmed. They don't even have a gun. They're just running on the grass. You see, one policeman count the right, one policeman count the left, and one policeman count the back. And the people, they're just running on the foot. No, man. Never do that. Walk. Get away on the car. Run. Show them that you want a foot. I'm a foot guy. Let's get it. Let's go until you surrender. That's how you have to do. But you cannot go there, go there, go there, do this, do this. You don't train. You depend on car. There's a place car can never go. Then you have to use your feet. Yeah. And that's why I'm telling you, man, you don't have to drink too much and you don't have, you have to train every day. But not like two guys. There were three, two guys. I don't know, two Moroccans. I don't know. Do I two guys being chased with three police cars on the foot. Right? They're running on the foot. But one police car is here, one police car this side. And yeah. But you never do that. Like here yeah, now, you see one guy get arrested with three, four, five policemen. Only one guy. What you can tell me that? No, man. That is very shame. One guy that needed to be arrested with one guy. You arrest with him with ten guys. One guy. I. You are not trained, my friend. You need to train more. Yeah. Train more, my friend. Oh. You need to train and you need to always be smart. Yeah, because they have the Harvard, they have the drugs coming every day. People, they get paycheck there every day. But you, you know, don't pretend you don't know. You know what you have to do there is to make your guy also there in the screen. These people working there, or working there, to the everything there, also have to follow them. Yeah, in and out where they go, people, they work with them. Where, Put under cover and follow them. All these people work there on that that harbor there. Yeah, those people, the containers, you have to follow them. Under cover, only follow them. Yeah. They know where they go, everything they do. When you see the transaction going high, everything, of course, you cannot arrest them. But when things go, that's how to put the drugs out. You are only sitting here, leaving customer there. Custom, customer can get a paycheck and give quiet. Yeah. Because those people, rather the container, 
how do you call them? Uh, the uh, I forgot. Not cash cow. Uh, the, yeah, those people the leading things, bill of leading, you know. Yeah, they said, oh, I put this content on the scan, but this guy already gets some his own money on his pocket. So he can just pass this container through for drugs, because these drugs people nowadays, they get family and torture the family, show you the picture of your kid and everything. And you think, man, I'm going to lose my family. So yeah, you let the police. So you make sure those people working on the scan container, you follow them one by one. Mm, follow this guy, follow that guy. You know them, everybody who lives in your country know them and put them tight undercover every day different this different but not the same guy every day or the same guy every day no yeah but always you have to work in one department because nowadays you also some we have some corrupted police here yeah because when you're dealing with this with this uh port uh, port uh, thing it's too many too much money and too many people can get also uh <coughs> Corrupted, can be corrupted, so it's dangerous. Mm. So we must be smart. That's how to stop dragging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in the borders too, because you let everybody in the border comes in, that's where the corona came in. Border always early in the morning. Mm. Early in the morning. From 3 to 10 o'clock a.m. Those all cars will be charged. Not from 3, from 2 o'clock a.m. to 10 a.m. Yeah. That's how the bad things pass in the border. Every car or every truck passing the border for those times must be sad. Because those times is the time that people, they want to sleep, people are this. Or just do it from uh, 1 o'clock to uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Because this one from three, four, five to six, yeah, this is a very hard time for every policeman. They are tired, they drink coffee, this and this, watching this, watching movie. No, no, no. Those times you have to be very, very hard. Those times you need to search. Mm. I don't think that all this is track, but search it. Search everything. Don't make sure that all oh, it makes the feel like, no, search it. It's your job. Make sure it's clean to get in your country. You get paid, my friend. So don't get to delay whatever side. I don't think that, oh, you see women with the kids and husband, what? Also side them. Mm -hmm. Because don't think, oh, they have a kiss, they cannot smuggle drugs. Of course, because nowadays people, they use also kids to smuggle drugs. Yeah. So when you see women with the kids, forever, when you're your fellow white, you mean, stop them. Mm -hmm. Side them, everything. And the time of searching them. Yeah. Searching time is from 3 o'clock, because, yeah, that's the time people, they rob time. The robbers have two from uh, 2 30 to 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, those times you need to search the cars very nice and very good. And not the car, car even you have to search the tire in the tire tube, my friend. Mm -hmm. Search everything. And the car you suspicious, put them aside. So these people that you know, you can search good, good, good. You see, like a grandma, also grandma and grandpa men don't trust them because nowadays. People, they use also grandma and grandpa to transport drugs. Yeah, don't trust them. No. First of all, this grandpa and grandma should be sad two times, three times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not good grandpa and grandmas. No. You can see them, they're all there, they're making money every day. Yeah, no. That's all you have to do. So if you're the border police, you're in deep shit. You need to search. Search everybody. People with kids, people with family, search them everything. And this grandma and grandpa always also said, why? Because in this country, I see how many grandma and grandpa die. Yeah, on the news. Why? Because they're drug dealing. But people, they don't know. All the police, they scared to put them on the news because they were drug dealers. They only say that, oh, they are this, they are this. But no, we also have grandpa and grandpa who are dealing with drugs in this country. Yeah, forgive me. Yeah, because people now, they know when you use teenager or this underage, it's very easy to know. So now they're now, they change their, yeah, grandpa and grandma. And even police, you, I'm telling you, if you cannot follow somebody, or put, don't put a grandma to follow somebody. You put their like, life in danger. Never do that. No. Use your tricks to follow somebody, but never use grandma or grandpa. It's dangerous. That's how many grandma or grandpa gets killed here and get robbed. Because of you. Yeah. 
you, you endanger them. That you don't even have to do to put a, like a grandma or grandpa under cover. Never do that. Never. Let grandma, they already retire, do their own thing. But you can never put grandma or grandpa under cover following this. No, it's very bad. Because these people, they get robbed every day because of you. Never do that. You train. Do whatever you do, but never use grandma or grandpa to rob you, to, to follow people or follow bad guys. No, never. Never do that. Because you endanger them. Because the way they follow people, those people they don't think they don't know, they know. So every time now they know, ah, grandma make me in. When I go out, I start stealing, stealing from grandma, killing grandpa. You see? That's what they're going to do. But that's bad from you. No. Don't ever do that. Never. Never use these three people. No. Leave them. They already retire wherever. Leave them to retire on good. But don't leave them retire for ready work with undercover for five years. And then they get shot. Or they get robbed. Yeah. Because there's also drug dealer. They know. But don't think they don't know. They know. They don't react on them. They pretend they don't know. But they know everything. Because you nowadays use undercovers. Uh, this grandma to follow people. Never use that. Or grandpa. Never. You spoil their life. Never. You train. You can do your thing. But you cannot be here that oh, you use grandpa or grandma. People are retired that you want to give them a daily bread. No. Let them relax and die peacefully. But don't let them die on the gunpoint. Don't let them die on tortured or die on a gunshot. No. <coughs> I blame you police in Netherlands. You don't do no good job. No. You are an experienced. Yeah. Very experienced, my friend. How can you use grandma to follow somebody? No. I Me, mean, myself, I can never use a grandma. This grandma can never even fight. Yeah. That's why they, they kill this grandma every day. They rob them. They do them this. They do them that. No, man. Never do that. Mm -hmm. And me, when I was police commissioner, when I get you that you're sending these grandmas and I come up and I fire you forever. Mm, no, I fire you, my friend. Because first of all, you're not good enough to train. You don't depend on yourself and you're not smart enough to work even with this department. No, I fire you. I never see you anymore. Yeah. And even when a commissioner, when I see you a policeman, you have a tattoos, man, I fire you too. Yeah. Why? Because you... I don't, I don't know how to, to identify a gangster and a policeman. I can't. Because when you see the gangster tattoos every until in his ass. Same same with policemen. Even with the fight. You don't know who, who to help, who to... Because when you see this policeman look like a gangster. Same same with the gangster. No. You see? That's how policemen in Netherlands are they fool. Because you are policemen, they have tattoos everywhere. Just even in their ass. No. Never do that. Respect your crown, my friend. Mm. Always you need to respect your crown. But don't be with the tattoo here, tattoo here, everywhere. You look like a gangster, my friend. Yeah. Even when there is a fight. Even when me, me myself, I go there, people, they're fighting, fighting. Maybe a policeman. I don't know you. But I'm fighting you even I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Before you identify yourself, you're dead. Why? Because you're a tattoo. You have tattoo here, you have tattoo here. So I don't know your policeman or your gangster, yeah, you know. Because gangster, Russian gangster, are those invented tattoos. Yeah. So, you know, gangster, you have tattoos everywhere. You're all gangster, you know what I mean? Yeah. Of course, when you, when you work with the criminal investigation also, nobody, when you go to join gangster, can tell you, oh, like, can I see your tattoo wherever? No. You can have small one, but not here, here, everywhere. They all arm tattoo. No. You can never have that. You know what I mean? No. That's how I hate police of Netan. Because even they spoil their repetition. They have tattoo everywhere. Where well, there's a fight in the bar everywhere. I see the guy here with the tattoo is a color man, I don't know, he's a police, wherever. I kick his ass. They are harder. And you're not trained, you're not good trained. Me and my marina, I know how to kick you nicely. I can even broke one of your bones. Yeah? Because we ourselves, we train well, we will touch somebody, man, for a few years. It never be function. You know what I mean? So you go there, start a fight with me, man. You have tattoos here. Yeah, I think you're a gangster or whatever. You need to attack me, man. I hate you. You know what I mean? Mm. Myself. I know I'm trained. The way I'm trained that I know the gangster is the one with tattoos. As you in the road, you get shot there alive. With all, everything. You can never talk. I never help you. 
Why? I see you with the tattoos. So I don't know you're a policeman or a gangster. You don't know? Yeah. So when you want to make your show, uh, you're a policeman or somebody to help you, when you have a problem, please, don't put too much tattoos. It's dangerous for your life. No, nobody will help you. Yeah, because if you can, you can be undercover. Okay, be undercover, get shot, you go to good ding, ding, you knock somebody does. You knock to somebody does, it's summertime, you have a t-shirt, you have tattoos, yeah, have to, nobody will open your door, even me, myself, I never open my door to help you. No, <laughs> no. I think you're, you're a drug dealer, you're a Russian guy, or whatever. Yeah, you have tattoos everywhere until in your ass. No, no, hey, man. I never help you. So, man, if you're a policeman, man, don't put these tattoos. It spoil your reputation, and nobody can help you when you have a problem. No one, because when you, the time you're going to identify yourself, your policeman, it's too late. Maybe you're dead already. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is very dangerous to your life. If you're a real policeman, respect your police duty. Don't put tattoos like a drug dealer or like a mafia. No. No. Respect your job. That's how policemen they roll here in this country. No, never. When a policeman respect, respect. You know? Mm -hmm. That's how even in, in, in Africa we do. We respect our police duty. Yeah. We there we know in the police line, the head of police line is OCS. Because then uh, Africa will do a police line. What is police line? Police line is a place where police they live, houses. Here, 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 here. And there next to it there is a police station. You know, and the cell in it. Yeah. That's how it is. And you can live for policemen here, here, but sometimes when you have a rank, you get transferred. So you transfer to this country. When also you're a tab, they transfer you here, transfer you here, transfer you everywhere, you know. But you can never live in the police land for the rest of your life, no. You'll be changing you here, changing you here. Yeah. Some countries when you go transfer men you cry. Mm. But that's when they need you to have ability to to train more and have some um, experience. That's why they transfer you here, they transfer you there, they transfer you there, they transfer you everywhere. Yeah. In my country they do that. Here I don't know. Here I think there's no transfer, but in my country, man, you can never stay in a, in a place for six months for uh, two years. One year, man, you already transfer to another place. Transfer, transfer, transfer. Yeah. You go around, man. Mm -hmm. When they see you, you are good in criminal investigation, they transfer you in the big city. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why, because always police department, they have too many uh, varieties departments. So they see your case. Because the police, the commissioner, or police, wherever, they also, when you do a good job, everything, you're in the system. So yeah, like commissioner, when you go up in the system, just click there, the page. What a policeman in these days are good. Oh, this guy's good, this guy's good, this guy's good. But uh, when, because uh, when you come to the president escort, then you have to go to uh, Israel, also training. Yeah. Because Israel get there, you're going to train about security. You know, how to be a bodyguard. Yeah. How to be a bodyguard is also another training. Yeah. To be a bodyguard, how to take a bullet. Yeah. And how to swear because some people now they can just be a fake bodyguard, fake bodyguard who get robbed and everything. Who, no, who get uh, don't get robbed. Who get uh, how do you say? Who get uh, paid in order to kill your own president? Oh man, who be bodyguard for real bodyguard? But bodyguard we do have company there in Israel. Yeah, Israel only training bodyguards, my friend. Yeah. Man, the rifles and everything, man. All protection, you never believe. But I don't tell you. <laughs> That's how things goes, you know. Mm. But man, I'm done with this. Please, I'll see you next time. Alright? Bye-bye.